something, she's going to get it. So we're very lucky to have her. Thank you. So. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I don't know if we can follow that. You know, I mean, Beth has such passion and such commitment to this cause that it's just such a great attraction. And I'm proud to be able to help her in any way and, and to help the children. And I think that that's clearly what this is all about. Um, there are a future these little guys and girls, and we need to make sure that they get the best opportunity possible to be able to make Connecticut and the great place that we call the United States a better place in the future. And if we can keep that on our forefront, that's the absolute most important thing that we could ever give them. That's the best gift that we can give them. So in, in response to, to what Beth is doing and, and what we're trying to champion through, it's, it doesn't only, it, it clearly starts with, with our youngsters, but it continues on. And so I think that you all should know that you have a committed group of legislators in the building trying to make sure that not only is their early childhood needs met, but that the educational system as a whole is reformed so we can ensure that our kids get the best education possible from birth all the way through college. And if we don't do that, we're doing such a disservice for our youngsters. So I won't, I clearly won't keep the microphone. I think there's so much more to be heard and listened to, them especially. And, and thank you all. And I, I urge you and I encourage each and every one of you. The budget season is not over. This is a very important week. This is the week that the Appropriations Committee is hearing all of the subcommittee conversations and, and recommendations. I strongly encourage each and every one of you and anybody that you have in your social circle to reach out to those legislators that are on the Appropriations Committee. You can find it by just going to the CGA website and press Appropriations and it gives you a whole list of people that sit on that committee. You all need to reach out to them and explain to them that what Senator Bai has proposed is extremely important. That even though in even though developing a commission counteracts possibly what the governor has conversated about, shrinking government as a whole is more productive than it is counterproductive. That we have spent billions of dollars in early childhood education and have very little to show for it. We need to make sure that the right people are championing this and that are sitting at the head of any commission. Hi. Come on up. Thank you. 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 Thank you.